morning. It's Kate Bolt, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK for some Friday evening paper crafting live. <clears throat> Do excuse me. Oh, this is so cool, except for it's not Friday, <laughs> it's Saturday. Now, so I normally go live on a Friday, but we had a little bit of lots going on yesterday evening and I wasn't going to get back from where I was in time to go live. So I postponed it to tonight. So I'm just going to hang around to see if anybody joins along with us before I start crafting. Um, I will be uh, posting this up after it's been live so you can watch the replay. And uh, yeah, I'll just hang around and see if anybody's going to join us live tonight. Okay, now I thought we would have a little bit of Friday night fun, even though it's Saturday. I keep saying that because I'm normally here on a Friday. We are going to have a little bit of uh, fun tonight with the Counting Sheep stamp set from Stamping Up. This is free with celebration. Oh, I'm sorry about the glare. It's getting a bit late here in the UK. It's seven o'clock and the nights are actually starting to draw in. So I've got a little extra bit of lighting, which just to help with shadows. Um, but I get a bit of glare, so I'll worry about that. So this is a cute stump set. Look at these fun sheep. Aren't they hilarious? These are free with Celebration. Celebration is a promotion going on through August and September with Stampin' Up. If you spend an order of £45, you can choose a selection of stamps and uh, papers and all sorts for free. And if you um, go for a purchase of £90, you can get a stepped up stamp set for free. Um, but these are fab because not only can you get the stamps for free, but you can get the matching dies. So you get the dies that cut out all of these images. Here they are. Oh, I've taken some of them out. So my, my packaging is now going to get a bit wonky. So yeah, we have got one of the sheep here, but I'm using some of these tonight. So we've got this one and we've got this one. These cut out the sheep images. So does this one. We've got a fence for them to jump over which is embossed and uh, die cut. And then we've got a balloon, so you can have balloon birthday sheep. And we have got clouds as well. This could be grass or clouds. So yeah, we, uh, we've got all of that going on. So, and the die set is also free with a 45 pounds order through my online shop. Um, it's so, so cute. You can see these little hats. Uh, you can cut the hat out. We're going to cut the hat out. Uh, yeah, there's lots to play with. And it's just so fun. And I thought, you know, we haven't actually got that long left of celebration promotion. We have got, I want to say, we have got three weeks, two and a half, three weeks left of this whole promotion. So if you haven't seen it, hi, Mum. Thanks for joining me. I'm glad you're here. This is right up your street. This is a sheep stamp set and a sheep dies. And we're going to make a fun sheep birthday card tonight just for the fun. So you haven't got into celebration yet this this month. It's finishing on the at the end of September. So let's show you what you can make with this. <laughs> All right. So I chose, I thought I'd have a bit of colour in it. So I got Bermuda Bay cardstock. I've got a thick basic white card base so that's a4 cut in half and scored in half and i'm making a like a tent fold card and then i have got a layer of bermuda bay which is slightly smaller by half a centimeter it is your birthday soon so therefore you may see this card or i may make you another one but it's definitely gonna have to be sheep isn't it so we've got this is 10 uh, by 14.3 centimetres and this is just going down again by half a centimetre just another white layer to stamp on and this is 9.5 by 13.8 so if you're in the states and you're using inches you just go by down your normal layer increments that you would normally use okay we're gonna have a bit of fun with this now just a quick and easy card for the saturday night right okay so i've brought in some colors i thought we'd have some pear pizzazz for the bottom of the card, for the grass. And I thought we'd have some balmy blue for the top, for the sky. And I've got some of our blending brushes. You don't have to make sky and grass, but I thought it would be fun. You could use designer series paper. You could just leave it white. But I thought this would be fun. So I'm going to pick up some of the ink from, straight from the ink pad. 
And then instead of just putting it straight on the card, because it can be a bit harsh when you first start off, is just rub a little bit off there. And then just bring it in very gently like that. Now, something I have done is I have already cut out some of the clouds. And they're over here. Let me grab those. I've cut out some of the clouds. So I've cut out three clouds already and I was experimenting. And so what I thought I would do is I would put some of the clouds on here and just mask. So you've got your cloud that you've cut out, but you've also then got kind of a cloud image left behind the blending. So we've got more clouds. Do you see how that works there? <laughs> so I'm going to do that with all the clouds. You only need one, but I want to add these these ones as well. And I don't want them stark white, I decided after I played around. So I am going to blend them all. But I'm not going to use this corner because I'm going to stamp my sentiment here. Yeah. Nearly forgot that. So you end up with a nice blue finger. <laughs> But that's all right. So any ink comes off. So a little bit of that, like that. I like that. I think they'll leave that. So just the two outlined. I'm gonna, just gonna go over this one, and take some of the white off of this one, like this, just like that. So now our clouds are blue. I'm going to put them there because when you see a cloud in the sky, you often see them kind of mixed with the sky. They're wispy, aren't they? So I thought, yeah, let's do that. And then I am going to put this blue one away like so. And I've got then the pear pizzazz. So I've already been using that on this one. And I really added quite a lot of ink to that brush. So I've still got quite a lot on there. Let's add that all over the bottom very softly, not too much. So I'm not going in and adding extra ink from my ink pad because I've already got some on the brush from where I was playing with it. So, and then it kind of just, if it's quite soft, it blends in with the sky. Right, too much hassle. There we go. So that's all the brushing done with those lovely blending brushes that we've got. Great. Now we're going to do a bit of stamping for these sheep. Okay, I've got a spare piece of uh, basic white cardstock. And I've got my Memento Black. I'm going to stamp both the sheep that I picked out. There's three sheep in the stamp set. I like this one. He's standing up on his back legs. Don't all sheep do that? <laughs> oh, I misstamped him. I think I smudged it. Let's turn it over and do it again. Although I'm going to cut him out. So that's absolutely fine. It wouldn't have mattered. There he is. <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? He looks like he's holding court, don't you think? A he sheep or a lady? Is it a man sheep or a lady sheep? I have no idea. And then this one is just sitting there looking a bit sheepish. I think it's his birthday. Yep. <laughs> so we've got that one okay let's put the lid on oh i need that actually i'm going to grab this one this one is the party hat and i'm going to stamp party hats out because they're having a birthday why wouldn't we <laughs> gotta have a birthday hat okay and I'm going to take a couple of pens to colour it in. You can choose whatever colour you like. I took a couple of our alcohol blend pens. They're called Stampin' Blends. And I've got one in the same colour as the cardstock, which is Bermuda Bray Light. And this one is the Dark Pool Party. So each colour comes in light and dark. And I've just picked out what I fancy. So this is the Light Bermuda Bay and the Dark Pool Party. And what I'm going to do is colour in the spots like this on that one and then I'm going to colour in the background on that one. There we go. So 
and then with the other colour, the balmy blue, this is the same colour as the ink that I've used for the blending of the background. Just in a pen. There we go. Okay. So the dye, let's get the dye down. So as I pre-cut the clouds, I'm going to cut out these little, little tiny hats. It's fun, isn't it? Little tiny hats. Okay. It was a quiet. Right, I'm going to pop that through my die cutting machine, which is right next to me, my stamping cutting box machine. Oh, it moved slightly. I have to do that one again. It literally has chopped it off. I didn't do a very good job of that. Let's see if I can make a job of a better job of this one. I obviously didn't have it placed correctly. Bad workman always blames his tools. <sighs> so yeah, that's definitely my fault. There we go, let's do this one and hope for that. Oh yay, that one came out perfectly well. Yes, right, let's put this where I don't lose it. I don't want to lose that tiny little hat to die. There we are. Now, I might just trim this one instead of re-stamping it. So sometimes you can save a die. Hello, Hazel, how are you? Sometimes you can save a die cut just by trimming off a little bit of the white if, you, if it's slightly shifted and you haven't cut too much of the image off. And I think that might just do that. Because it wasn't much of an issue. There we are. We've got it. By golly, we've saved it. So, now to cut these sheep out, but just to save a little bit of time, I stamped and cut them out already. So, they're all ready to go, aren't they? Adorable. They're cute, aren't they? So, just to save a bit of time, I did that one. Here we are. So, Next thing I'm going to do is stamp my sentiment because then I'll know where to place everything else on the card. And I'm going to use Bermuda Bay ink, which is the same colour as that card layer that I'm using and this pen because everything can match, which is brilliant. And I'm going to use this So Glad It's Your Birthday. I really think they should have had some kind of sheep pun in this, uh, in this stamp set though. Right, if anyone can think of any sheep puns, do let me know, because that would be hilarious. Right, I'm going to stamp it right at the top here. We've got a nice little gap. Oh, watch out. Alfie's joining the, joining the live. That's my dog. <laughs> He's just come in the room. He likes to join in. So we've got, so glad it's your birthday. All right. The other die I used was, I cut this out in advance as well. I cut out the little fence. It's fabulous. Look how it's already embossed in like the wood, wood grain. That's going to go there. Let me shut the door. Now our piece in. Right, okay. So we've got our, our gate. Is that our five bar gate? <laughs> this sheep's going to go behind the gate. And this little sheep is going to go here. This sheep is bringing this one a birthday balloon. <laughs> Isn't it ridiculous? It is ridiculous. There is one in Hippo in Friends. There is one what, Sharon? Sorry, I missed that. I was too busy chuckling at the sheep. Right, I don't know whether to do any colouring in for these sheep, so I'm going to leave them white. Um, I might come back before I take some photos of the project and colour them in. I hadn't really thought about colouring them in. Uh, whether I should colour in their hooves, I might do that. So I have got a crumb cake marker. I think I'll just colour in their little hooves. There's probably some good colours. Oh, 
Yes, sorry. Thank you. Oh, that would be perfect, wouldn't it? Thank you. E W E. <sighs> oh, yeah. That's a bit better. And I'm sure we should cut the colour in their little faces, but I don't want to make them look too kind of weird or human-like or anything. So I think I'm just going to leave them because I haven't played and experimented. I don't want to make them look weird. <laughs> okay. So let's put these on here now. I've decided where they're going to go. And in this stamp set, there is, hello, Sylvia, there is a little um, grass image. And so I picked a different green to make it pop. I've got old olive and I'm going to put some grass at the bottom where I think they're going to stand. So let's just check this out. I put the, the fence here. It's going to be about here. So let's get the grass in there. That. So we've got him on the grass. Just check my placement. Yep. And then bring him over a bit because we need room for him. Okay, that'll be good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue him down. Him, her, her, him, wherever he is. I heard it's your B day. Oh, that's elephants. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there must be some other ones like. Something about a flock, I don't know. I badly wanted to say happy birthday. <laughs> that was terrible, I'm really sorry. I'm sure we'll think of some more. Right, I'm gonna glue this one on the top. When I saw this stamp set, Mum, I definitely thought of you. I thought, this is perfect. <laughs> oh, we've just got to love it, haven't we? Okay, so I've got some uh, sticky foam pads. I've got some stamping dimensionals. I'm going to lift this this one up because he's standing in front of the, the gate. So I'm really sorry to those of you who normally watch me live on a Friday. It's been a couple of weeks of a bit of mayhem. Last night I was driving my son um, off to, he's going on holiday before he goes to uni with some of his friends and uh, he's gone away for the weekend. They're all leaving together uh, from, from about an hour away from where we live, an hour and a bit. I had to drive there and back and obviously time just, it took with the traffic, it took a bit, a lot longer than I thought it was going to and it just wasn't feasible. So I thought we'd postpone it until tonight. And then the week before, it was my daughter's birthday. So we went out for her birthday, which was rather lovely. But normality has now resumed, which is fabulous. Now, what do you think of this, guys? <laughs> this little die is the balloon die from this same die set with the sheep here. But I've used another item that's in celebration. This gorgeous be dazzling kind of glimmer paper you get in a pack I think you get eight sheets of six by six how gorgeous is that and you can see that's all I've used it goes a little bit goes a very long way and it doesn't shed it's like this and it doesn't come off it's really great and it die cuts really well and I thought we'd make a beautiful birthday balloon for this sheep so He's bringing him a birthday balloon. And I thought we'd pop a little dimensional underneath that one. <laughs> this tickles me. It's going over the cloud. <laughs> That's so pretty, isn't it? He's got a really special balloon. But obviously we want them to have their party hats on because it's a birthday. 
So I think we will add them like this and we'll put some tiny dimensionals behind those if they are big enough. Oh, the hat's big enough to hide one. If not, I'll just chop one in half. Almost. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that works. He's wearing his hat. Although actually, I think that one sticks out a bit proud. So what I might do is pop that one on there because he's already popped up in the air, isn't he? And then glue this one down. Like that, and then glue this one because this sheep is glued flat, otherwise it would look a bit strange. <laughs> I think I could be having great fun with this. I reckon this would go with the chicken set as well. There's a whole farmyard going on. <laughs> oh dear. There we are. So glad it's your birthday. And then we have room to pop these clouds if we would like them somewhere here. I'm not even sure if I, we need this clouds on there. I think just that is enough. You know, that's quite cute. So glad it's your birthday, right? Let's put the back on before I stick those clouds down and see what it looks like. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll stick it on first, I think. So normality next week, I hope. I can only hope. There we go. So that's going to go on there. This is going to go on here. I really like this card. So I think there's lots of fun to be had with this stamp set. I actually might put those on there, but bring them off the side of the card. Yeah. And I might just pop them up. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, so I'm going to pop that one there, put a couple of little sticky foam pads on there. These little dimensionals are just perfect for small spaces. You don't end up cutting them up and having them all stuck to your fingers or your scissors. Brilliant. And they cost the same, you just get more of them. So, you know, you get the same amount of square footage of foam pads as you do the big ones. You just get more little, if that makes, does that make sense? I think you know what I mean. And that's gonna come off the side of there. Happy days. And we're nearly done. Oh, sorry, Mum. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, if anybody else is watching, can you let me know if it's working fine for you? I don't think I've got any issues my end. Fingers crossed. Please let me know. Right, I am going to cut that straight down the side. Working fine there, thanks Sylvia. Sometimes it's just an internet problem that comes in and goes out. It can be a bit. There we go. There we are, and there's our birthday card, but we're just gonna stamp the inside because the other stamp that's in the set is, whoops, you're amazing. So what I might just do is stamp you're amazing in Bermuda Bay, the same color again. 
Oh, hi, Jen. Hello. Thank you for joining me. We nearly finished the card, but I think you're going to like this one. Hold on. Let me just stamp the inside. I'll show you what we've been doing. You're amazing. I love the font. We're using the sheep from Celebration. So we're using the Counting Sheep stamp set. And then we're using all the dies that go along with it that you can also use to cut out all the... You can also get with Celebration. And it cuts out all of the sheep. It cuts out the clouds and the, the, the gate, the balloon. Yeah, and the party hat. There's a couple of clouds. There's another one over there. It cuts out well, you've got sunshine and there's even a little flag so we're using these together to make a fun birthday card <laughs> and i think what i'm gonna do is just finish it off by stamping the sheep inside the one with the balloon ink it up with the black ink like that. I'm going to put him inside here like that. You're amazing. And then let's just put the lid on that one before I stick my hand in it because that's definitely going to happen. We can put some grass at the bottom. There we are. And then, you know what, I have a lot of this beautiful bedazzling paper that's in Celebration 2. So close to 45 pounds order in my online shop and you get a whole pack of this for free with Celebration just until the end of the month. Yours. It's really good stuff. A little bit goes a very long way. one more balloon out there we go you see it cuts out really well too and there's no shedding and i'm going to pop this in here <laughs> so you've got the balloon inside love that you're amazing oh look how it cuts it out that's so clever i didn't even notice that it cuts it out so there's even the sun not the sun the light, the, what's it called? It's got these little lines, so it kind of embosses it. So if this was a different kind of cardstock, you'd see those lines better. Do you see those? And it would look like there's, where the light shines on the side of the balloon. That's clever. So if you had it in normal cardstock, you'd see that a little bit better. Right. Bit of blue. Pop this one up. There we go. There's our card. <laughs> Actually, I'll probably put a little bit of glue on the on the string of the balloon as well. You're amazing. I hope you've enjoyed it. A quick bit of Saturday night live crafting for you using the Counting Sheep stamp set and the sheep dies that go alongside it. I love these. I, I'm going to be doing quite a lot more, I think, with these. This is a fun. The sheep dies. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you've joined me live, it's just a quick, fun one. Next week, we'll get back to normal. Tuesday will be Coffee and Cards over on my Facebook page at 11 in the morning. And a Friday night live at 7, back on Fridays with some luck. Keeping everything crossed. Thank you very much for joining me if you're here live. If you're joining me on replay, let me know. And let me know if you like it. I would love to know. And if you've done anything else with the sheep. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for notifications of future videos down below. And uh, if you'd like to grab this Counting Sheep stamp set or anything else in my online shop, the link is down below in the description box too. 
Thanks, Sylvia. Take care, everyone. Have a fabulous weekend. Thank you, Hazel. You're so kind. And uh, see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.